Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalist 3 Divine Wind with your host Shenra currently playing as Ireland. And I bring you back now. It's only been a few months since the end of the last video. I bring you now because we just got Government Tech 19. We can now do Administrative Republic. So this would be our key opportunity if we wanted to switch from a monarchy to a republic. Now we could. We do take a big stability hit, but now you gotta look at the, the benefits versus the uh, negatives. And uh, from my point of view, the benefits are good. In fact, they're, they're really, really good. But I, uh, I'm pretty intent on waiting for the constitutional monarchy, which comes out in, uh, which comes out in government tech 32. So, rather than jumping the gun, I'm just going to let that roll and see what happens. Also, at the end of the last video, we vassalized Norway. But I forgot to take notice that Sweden was the leader in our war. So Sweden never exited their war with Norway. So even though Norway's our vassal and we have our alliance and blah blah blah, uh, they're still at war with Sweden. And for some reason, Sweden keeps sending troops over to Trondheim and then they leave the territory. It's it just it's really odd. But yeah, I'm I'm hoping that they'll end that war soon and then we'll not have to worry about them anymore. Yeah, yeah, there's still revolts going on. We'll deal with it. So we're going to keep the same government for many years to come until government tech 32. Oh, good. We're already heading the right way. Where else? There, there, there. Ah, that's the one I didn't do yet. Bingo. Hmm, Lincoln. Yeah, they're dead. And they are also dead. And these guys are soon to be dead. There they go. And more revolts. Awesome. Stadonka is almost our sud stud. <laughs> Where is it? There we go. Stadakona. Stadakona. There's no way in hell I'm ever going to remember that. We have a colonist. Good, 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 good. Fort 1 in Panama is done. Colonists will go... Oh, I don't care too much. Let's go to Connecticut. Give me a new spy already. And all the revolts are done. And we finished a fort in, in uh, Unami. Coffee in Antiochia. Very nice. I do like my coffee. In fact, that sounds good. I'm going to pause here and brew some damn coffee. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, we're back. Fresh pot of coffee is brewing. So, have to go grab that in a minute. In the meantime, you're back in Unami. We're sending colonists out. And we have a buttload of magistrates, which I love. Oh, revolts, revolts, revolts. Oh, we had an event that sent two colonists to Guyana just automatically. I didn't have to train them or anything. It's kind of cool. Except that now we have to pay for the damn thing. Colonial company founded. This was the event. Yeah, two colonists in... Where the hell is... Tuscarora?
There it is. All right, so that's about to get... There you go. Hey, fine by me. If they want to do that, then I won't have to focus on colonizing inland. Hey, free colonist. I mean, not free colonist, but he's got a new colonist. All right, where should we go? That one is almost done. I kind of want to go to Quetich. Just to sort of fill all this crap in. Yeah, let's do that. Then I can put my center of focus there and uh, do a center of trade here in Stadacona or Kespik. And we're full of magistrates. All right, all right. Magistrates, magistrates. Oh, we can introduce our heir. Not really interested. I would love to do buildings with all those magistrates, but my money is not that great right now, and it's not going to be until all these colonies are done. And that's going to take a long time, because I'm going to colonize as much of this crap as I can. This stuff, maybe not so much. I'll do, I'll do this, and then maybe we'll do a little more, but I definitely want to do as much in North America as possible. That is my goal. Alright, so we got our paintings. Do we need any dudes? Not really. He's already level 6. Nah, we'll just train something. Train... Train a philosopher. People love philosophers. I never use them, but other, other countries do. Alright, what else do I need? Sweden still keeps retreating out of Trondheim for whatever reason. Let's see. We have marriage. We have marriage. We need marriage. Have marriage. Need marriage. Need marriage. Desperately need that marriage. Oh my god, look at Alencon. And, oh, Aragon's just getting eaten up. And everybody rejected? Nope. Alencon said yes. Oh, thank you, Alencon. You make me feel good inside. Hey, the upload of part 9 failed again. Awesome. Let me pause and get that going. All right, upload's going again. All right, so let's see. What did Aragon lose? Nothing. Interesting. And Norway got peace with Nizhny Novgorod, so now they just need peace with Sweden. I really want that alliance, Burgundy. Nope. Hey, Stadacona's done. You need a fort. And I need a lot of money. Oh, Lithuania's back with... They got their alliance back with Sweden. That sucks. Failed in Quidditch. No. Do it again. That's not cool. You shouldn't fail like that. Anyway, I need a lot of money before we can do the center of trade. NATO assimilation? Cool. We do have gold down here, but we're not making any damn money because we're blockaded by the pirates. And we can't kill the pirates because we can't reach them. <laughs> oh, what a situation we're in. Actually, these make core... What are these core? 80-something? 83. So 11 more years, then these will core. And then we can actually build some ships over here. Oh, but we still, we still don't have all this... T ah. It'll be a while before we get rid of those pirates. Failed in Quidditch twice. Do it again. 
It's a freaking 86% success rate, and we failed twice there. And we are full of diplomats, so we need to try for some more marriages. Brittany, yes, Burgundy. Ooh, we got with Burgundy. Good, 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 good. Burgundy should be a good ally. Oh, we didn't kill the Huron. Where are they going? They're going to Niagara? Yeah, they always go to Niagara. Right. We'll give them a leader. You don't need it. Ah. Uh, Hate these events. Nobles demand old rights. Either you get decentralization or you lose stability. Well, there goes our stability. I cannot believe how long it's been since I've been able to train any technologies. I haven't done any of this in, since it seems like forever. We keep going down to zero stability and then it just slowly crawls up and then we lose some more stability. And then we lose more stability. And then we lose more stability. What a pain in the ass. At least in the Hindustan campaign, I had the idea not church attendance day, which gave 33% less time that it took to get stability yet. Now we're full of magistrates again. But I don't want to spend any money at all, so we're just going to get paintings and get a tax dude. Someone will take them. Colonist! Colonist! Did you succeed or did you fail? Oh, he's gonna arrive in three days. Alright, come on, please work. Finally! Alright, so we should be we should be fine over there in Quidditch. I want to focus on finishing some colonies. Let's do Connecticut. And I have a spy! Alright, we gotta, we gotta keep trying this because they're back up to full. They're paying their colonies full again. Jeez. Four, five, six times in a row? How many times is it? Oh my god. Every single time it was uh, like 70% and 60% chance and we just kept failing no matter what we did. Well, now the problem is they'll be back up over 100 people in one year and I will not have a spy within one year. So there's like no chance for us to get Massachusetts anymore without going to war. That blows, man. And we have a new colonist, so let us... where to go? Let's finish up some colonies. Looks like six is the highest other than Connecticut. Connecticut will be done in two years. Let's do Manhattan. And we're full of diplomats. Okay. Castile, you still like me. Sweden, you love me. Lithuania, you hate me. Burgundy's going up. Alencon's going up. Brittany, you need some access, bro. Austria, marry me. Oh, the Ottomans getting a little bigger. Okay. Smolensk, marry me. Actually, give them access. No, they don't want it. Hmm. Aragon, marry me. Everybody except Alan Khan said no. Nobody likes us. Mm. Damn you, Portugal. Bastards. We had so many opportunities to get rid of Massachusetts and we just... Pff, our spies really suck. Oh, 
and our upload failed again. Let me pause again and get that going. All right, the upload is going. Massachusetts is really going to upset me unless they lower their unless they lower their supply here. It's just going to upset me because we had so many opportunities to get rid of that. Oh, we have a colonist again. All right, go back to Manhattan. And next year, we may have enough money to do our center trade. Maybe not. Coffee, awesome. Damn, we're full of magistrates again. Do a... Uh, man, Master Mint, why not? Look at him chop that tree. That is amazing. The tree looks like it's made of rubber. And we discovered the middle of nowhere. Hey, it's the Golden Horde. And we're full of diplomats again. Let us... Oh, we can't marry them. They're a duchy. Oh, they're a vassal of Castile. No wonder. Well, let's try to marry Aragon. Give some access to Brittany. Oh, Armagnac is in a personal union under Portugal. That sucks. You're still at war with Sweden. You gotta end that war, Sweden. You're not getting Norway. You should know that by now. I think we're okay, really. There isn't a whole lot I can do in Europe right now. I guess I should try with Mecklenburg. Oh, they're in a personal unit under Austria. Oh, man. Man, there's like no one in Europe that I want to talk to right now. Papal State. Uh, kind of want to give them some money, but I'm kind of poor. I'll just hold on to it. Hey, Toulouse married us. Cool. And Manhattan's almost done. And we have a colonist. Oh, they lost Massachusetts. They must have had a native uprising. Excellent. And we just happen to have a colonist. Oh, that is so brilliant. And it's got a tax of five. Love it. Well, after all that frustration, that, that part right there felt really good. <laughs> what I couldn't do myself, the natives did on their own. Well, we do have 500 gold, but I think I'll have to wait till next year. All right, more rebels in Cusco, and we have a missionary, so we need to start converting some people. Probably Mexico, yeah. We'll just do all this first. Oh, they didn't die. Should probably kill them. And we succeeded in Massachusetts. Very awesome. Where is our colonist? Give me a new colonist. There we go. So go to Massachusetts again, because if they rebel, to, the way it works when natives rebel, 10% of their population is how many of your population that they kill. So 10% of this is 220 people. So these people, these guys will kill 221 of us. 220 of us if they rebel. So I have to get my population over that just in case they do. Or we could just go in and kill them, which is a viable solution. Oh my god, Toulouse lost the Sinai Peninsula back to the Mamluks. Toulouse, you have let me down. You have let me down. 
Tisk tisk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God, Portugal, you and your damn vassals. What is your diplomatic situation? Wow. Portugal, you are in a good situation, my friend. Then again, so am I. Look at that. Look at all those green allies and royal marriages and stuff. Oh, we, we're in the maybe situation for an alliance with, with Prussia. I'm not sure if I want to do that. The I do want to ally with them because they're another guy that could attack Smolensk and they're another guy that could attack Lithuania. But I don't want to ally with them because they border Sweden and Lithuania and Sweden is my ally, but Sweden would probably attack them. And Lithuania is Sweden's ally and Lithuania has cores here in Prussian territory. There and here and here. See Lithuanian cores, more Lithuanian cores, and way too many fucking cores here in Kolm. Yeah, Lithuania has cores there, so if Lithuania decides to declare war against Prussia, then Sweden may join that war. I don't want to get at war with Sweden. Because they're my buddy. Hey, Aragon accepted access. Cool. More Protestants. Innovation wave. Very cool. Alright, let me see if I can get some more access spread around. Everyone likes access. Wow, Africa just looks so messy right now. The Pope, you have access, right? Yeah, you do. All right, we're good. Wow, they all said yes. Wow. Colonial company goes bankrupt. Yeah, we have to bail them out. There goes 50 ducats that we won't get back. If you don't bail them out, they will lose their colony. Benign neglect. If it moves, tax it. We gain zero ducats, really? Oh, God damn it! This is supposed to give you some money, but we don't get anything. Hey, stability's up plus two. Very nice. That puts a smile on my face. And Connecticut is almost a full territory. Oh God, we're full of magistrates again. All right, we need to train another. Who's almost dead? Nobody. So... Doesn't even matter. Just train an alderman. Love me some alderman. More coffee. Awesome. And Massachusetts was successful. So now we're almost to 220 people. We need one more colonist, and then they won't be able to kill us. So keep sending colonists to Massachusetts. And Sweden wants us to declare war on Norway. I can't do it, because they're my vassal. Sweden, you guys are dicks, so... Uh... Yeah. No, I can't do it. What? A call to arms. Sweden wants you to attack Norway. Norway is allied with Sweden. No, they're not. They're at war with Sweden. It says Norway is allied with Sweden, Norway, Bohemia, and Castile. No, that's me. That's Ireland. Oh my god. Hello, bug. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have to decline this. We're going to lose our alliance with Sweden. That's not cool. So that means now we have to try to get an alliance back with Sweden. We'll, we'll work on it. Our relations, yeah, relations are, they're okay. Yeah, 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 everyone's at war with Burgundy, I get it. Who are you at war with? Portugal, Berry, Provence, Champagne, Alencon, whatever. You're at war with all this crap. I don't care. Uh, but I could join it, probably. Just to get some taxes. Or Moldavia? No. Who's this? Oh, Portugal's over there. Never mind. Cyprus? No. Crete? Oops. Guaranteed by Moria. What about Moria? No. 
And I'll just hold off for now. We'll wait for another opportunity. Champagne will see Calais. All right. France is independent again. Okay. Norway is still dicking around with their war with Sweden. That's got to get out of that damn war. Papal State joined the war. Okay. And we're full of diplomats again. send my dudes. I mean, I gotta try with Sweden, man. I want to get them back in the alliance, but I'm not gonna do it until they... Uh, whatever. Whatever, whatever. I don't want to get an alliance back with Sweden until they're done with their war with Norway. Or else they'll just ask me to come in again. It makes me look bad, you know? Constantly telling him, no, I'm not going to join your damn war because you're a freaking moron. Ooh, I have a spy. Ooh. Where can I send my spy? Probably nowhere cool. We'll see. Hmm. I could centralize or free subjects. Yeah, I'll centralize. Ah, uh, lost stability. Damn it. Uh, hey, we're up to 500. I think we have to wait one more year. So can we kick them out of here? Nope, they have too many people. Too many people. What about down here? Yeah, this place may work. But then... I don't know. Maybe I'll just hold on to my spies in case I need to use them over here or up here somewhere. Yeah, I'll hold on to them. Because we're doing okay right now. It is nice having a spy, though. Very nice. Hey, we're doing well in Massachusetts. Everyone collapsed. March 1st, 1575 was the year that everyone freaking collapsed. And we have colonists again. Very good. And Connecticut is territory now, so there goes all that money we've been saving up. Mutapa annexed Benin. Benin is up here. So Mutapa now owns Oyo. How the hell? What? That is not even possible. That is some crazy voodoo right there. Hey, Papal States is colonizing more. Good for you guys. I'm not going to kick you out because you're the frickin' Papal States. And, oh, here we go. Austria just declared war on Lithuania. What was their cause of spelling? Reconquest of Abkhazia. For some reason, Austria owns Georgia. And somehow, magically, even though they don't have a core on Georgia, they somehow gained a core here in Abkhazia. That is definitely what I would consider a bug in this game. You shouldn't be able to get a core. The way it works, that, that, that event, you get a core randomly based off of a specific territory. So this time, they based it off Georgia. And you get a core on one of its neighbors randomly. That's fine, but they shouldn't have it happen if you don't have a core on the territory that is in question. So, if you have a core here, then maybe you should be able to get a core next door. But they don't even have a core here, so you shouldn't be able to get a core next door. Does that make sense? Anyway, Austria is now at war with Lithuania, so we will see if Sweden dishonors that. If they do, then I will maybe get my alliance with Prussia going. We'll see. Sweden dishonored it, as, ex as expected. And everyone's coming in on uh, Austria's side. 
So Lithuania may be in for a world of hurt right now. They're at war with Austria, Corsica, Baden, Mecklenburg, Palatinate, Salzburg, Ulm, Ferrara, Naples, Sardinia, and Utrecht. Even Utrecht is in on, even though they don't have a freaking port. They're, they're going to support them. They're going to be cheerleaders or something. Hey, Papal States just colonized somewhere up in Quebec. I think it was Labrador. Yeah, Papal States got Labrador. Look at that. Look at that. I could kick them out, but I won't. They can have Labrador. Oh god, no, a revolt. And we are full of diplomats again. So do I really want to get in the lines back with Sweden? I kind of do. Kind of want to go with the Hansa instead. If I could, if I give them enough money, they'll just come play with me rather than playing, rather than having Sweden as my ally. I don't know. It's up in the air. I do have three strong allies right now. I have Bohemia, Castile. Maybe I don't have three strong allies. Who are my allies? Oh, so Sweden was my other strong ally. Okay then. Well, I'm not too. I'm not going to cry about it. I'll keep trying to get marriages everywhere, because cause if that ever succeeds, then it's worth quite a bit to me. And everyone said no. Of course they said no. But I had to try. Alright, Massachusetts is going really good. And we have a colonist, so we'll keep going to Massachusetts. And beginning of next year, I may try to do the uh, new center of trade. Ooh, crunchy. Hey, we discovered Lake Titicaca. Great. Lake Titicaca, oh Lake Titicaca, it's between Bolivia and Peru. Lake Titicaca, oh Lake Titicaca, with water so tranquil and blue. Yes. I do enjoy the little musical things from Animaniacs. From a long time ago. Alright, Massachusetts still going strong. Keep going, guys. Oh, it is the new year. All right, so I'll send our colonist, and I will do the center of trade. I'll probably have to adjust my minting slider a tiny bit. So we're going to make our center, our focus here in Quidditch because it borders a lot of lands. And our center of trade is either going to be here, here, or here. Here, here, or here. I'm thinking here because it has the highest natural tax, base tax of 5 versus Abnaki base tax of 4. I mean, they're not that much different. Base tax of 3, and base tax of 2. Uh, yeah, we'll do, we'll do Stara, Stara Kona. Stara Kona! So we build new center of trade. There goes all my money, now we're going broke. Awesome. And now we must rename this territory. I'm going to rename it to Leprechaun. Leprechaun. Yeah, bitch. We trade through Leprechaun. We've got to send a bunch of merchants there. And I need to adjust my slider a bit because now we're losing money because I'm an idiot. I should have waited one more year. Ah, but now we have a bunch of magistrates again. Okay. So there is that new trade center, looking good, looking very good. That one and this one. Wait, where are you trading through? You trade through Paradise. Oh, okay. So I was talking about getting rid of this center of trade, and it got rid of itself. It stagnated. 
That's fine. That means paradise. Oh god, now we have to wait another 25 years to move a center to move a new center of trade down here in South America somewhere. Maybe over here. Yeah, that might be good. Oh, we're making money every month. Ha 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 ha. Definitely raised it too high. That's what she said. How is our new Dublin center trade doing? 670, very nice. And how is this center trade doing? 580, and this one's at 273, all right. So that's fine, as people colonize up here, this one will become more valuable. And yeah, all this will get more and more valuable as people keep colonizing. And I want to dominate the centers of trade in the new world. So we have three now. I want to make a fourth one either, either here or here. Probably here. Building it here will, will prevent most of these guys from going through other centers of trade. They'll want to go through here. They just will. Yeah, Austria is still emperor. Is anyone else even close? Nope. Well, Bavaria's got two. King's reputation tarnished. Let me guess. Lose stability. Oh. Gain infamy or lose stability? That is not a hard choice, my friend. We're going to gain the infamy. Native raids. Ah, damn it. I hate native raids. Where is this? Guyana. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Got an aggressiveness of nine now. Jeez. Colonist. Back to Massachusetts with you. Actually, yeah, I kind of need to. Okay, Burgundy's getting bigger. They're probably going to annex Allen Kong. And we're full of Diplos again. Who wants to Diplo love us? Bavaria, you should get some access. And who else should get some access? You guys. Oh, you already have it. You already have it. Tuscany, you need some access. Portugal, you already have it. Oh, France. Ha! Huh. Poor France. Aw, oh, two of them said no. Uh, Castile declare war on the Mamluks, and they want us to join it. Sure. Get some war taxes going. Thank you very much. War exhaustion is almost empty, so why not? Norway joined. Albania joined. Navarra joined. And nobody joined on the Mamluk side, of course. Oh, they have rebels as well. Pretender rebels. And more Pretender rebels. And more Pretender rebels. And... Protestant zealots. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen in Massachusetts. Damn it. Assimilation. Nice. Oh, oh, we can lower this a bit. Let's go back down to negative. I want to start losing some of this stupid uh, inflation that we have. Freaking hate inflation, man. Alright, Manhattan is done. Build that fort. And lots of them are getting very close. And we have new colonists, but we don't have any money, so we'll have to wait till next year. Hey, 
gained a core. Awesome. How's our cores doing anyway? Okay, we got the north of the north part of South America is now core. All of this is all core. Abnaki went core. Very nice. I didn't even notice that one core. Freeman's core. All of this is core. So the next step is all the Maya lands will go core in six years. That'll be cool. And these will take a while. These will go 16, 16. And that'll be a while. <laughs> anyway, we have money now, so we should send our colonists back to Massachusetts. And we can actually start building buildings, because war taxes give us money. All right, level one fort in Curacao. What else do we want to do? Marketplaces are good. It looks like Leprechaun is doing fine. Lots of people are trading there, which is good. The more merchants at your center of trade, the less likely it is to stagnate. I get it, there's war. Alright, we are full of diplomats again. So let us try to get marriages again. Try Gilray. Give them access. They trust us implicitly, but their alliance is only maybe. And they're still at war with Norway. You guys are dicks. Has it been long enough to annex Norway yet? I don't remember what year we got in Norway as a vassal. Oh, colonist. Oh, we're almost done in Massachusetts. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it, Colonial Company, you guys suck. Gain a core, awesome. We now have core over here. Espirito Santo is core. Very nice. Bohemia declared war on Ukraine. Uh, Smolensk is on Ukraine's side. Interesting. Very interesting. I have no problems joining this war against Ukraine, but I'm not really interested in fighting Smolensk. Although they don't have a navy, so... Eh. Why not? I don't want to lose my ally, so... Sure. So Bohemia is now fighting Lithuania, which is fine because Lithuania is losing to Austria. So, Lithuania, you're in a bit of a pinch. Okay, so Bohemia just annexed Ukraine. That did not take long. That's what she said. Hmm, seven dudes. Oh, you have a leader. Good. Kill them, the seven dudes. And Massachusetts is almost a territory.
with this mini map not working. Give them a little money. Alright, 197. Can we annex them? Native Rising in Guyana. Huh. Okay. You guys are going to Niagara, aren't you? Of course you are. You always go to Niagara. You guys are so freaking predictable. Full of magistrates again, but I don't have any money. Actually, I do have some money. Hmm. There's no point really saving up for another center of trade because I have to wait 25 years. 1599, yeah, another 22 years until I can move it anyway, so. this as well. And how's my roll risk anyway? That's oh, not that bad. Let us build stuff. Because building stuff is awesome. Ah, fish. Everyone has so much trading in fish. Might as well get some manpower. Can't hurt. And churches, I'm not gonna bother. Manufacturers would be nice if I had some freaking money. Uh, constable, sure, why not? How's this war going? Yeah, Bohemia is kicking Lithuania's ass. Of course they are. Lithuania, you guys are so boned. Am I the leader in this war? I am not. So I can't get anything out of it. It's just white peace. See defeat? No, nope. I can't get anything out of it. That's what she said. So we'll just peace them out because we're not the leader anyway. Ooh, it's January. I have monies. And Massachusetts is almost done. And I have diplomats. You guys gotta stop this stupid war with Norway. Seriously. How's my exhaustion? 0.89. Oh, it's actually going down because our current ruler is awesome. So we can keep this war for as long as we want because our ruler is just kick ass. Okay, I guess I'll just keep this war. It means I can't annex Norway, but whatever. Are you guys actually taking it this time? Wow, you guys are actually taking Trondheim. Good for you, Sweden. Good for you. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, what should I do with all this money? I don't know. I really don't know. Alright, what, what would that say? It said Pass Disillusion Act. What the hell is that? Uncolonial Expansion. What is that? Little Minister, number of colonies at least four. Colonist cost minus 3%. Global Colonial Growth plus 3%. Infamy Limit minus 3. That is a horrible freaking item. Alright, what is this? Have a statesman, have this, have that. Production efficiency minus 5%. No, that's horrible. I don't want to lose production efficiency. That, as your, as your empire gets big, production is going to be your biggest income. It just is. If you get a big empire, production is going to be huge. In my Hindustan campaign, production was like twice or three times as much as tax. So there's no reason to accept something like that that lowers your production. What about religious crap? Ooh, I have a colonist. Colonist! Whoa, pause the damn game. You're gonna go there, and 
and you can go there. Now, where should I send my colonists? No, 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 nowhere where there's nine. Somewhere where there's 800 is fine. Magdalena. So all of these should be full territories very soon. Which will be great. Be a big boost to income, for sure. Man, look at that. Seven... Seven gold. That is nice. Curacao, Jamaica, the Turks. Oh, the Papal States lost all this. Lame. And Toulouse lost a little bit as well. Oh, I can probably cancel that stupid thing. Cancel that mission. Give me a better mission. Colonize Tamil Pius. Where the hell is Tamil Pius? There it is. Or Tamulipas, I'm sorry. Tamaulipas, whatever. Tamil Pius is a mountain. In California. And we can build stuff. Taxes. Uh, direct tax plus 25%. Uh, I'd rather do production stuff. Uh, how about docks? Yeah, so lame. I'm getting to the point where a lot of these buildings aren't very useful right now. For one reason or another, they're just not. Maybe I'll just hold on to my money for now. Unique buildings. I can't build any. Pilenia lost two territories to Bohemia. Okay. And you're out of the war. Okay. Aw, nobody shares my dynasty. That makes me sad. I, I've been getting so many royal marriages and nobody shares my dynasty. And Burgundy still hasn't taken... Burgundy still hasn't taken over Alencon. They they own it all, they've conquered it all, but they won't take it. Let's see, so we get some government tech. Either we gain inflation or we don't gain I'm not going to gain the inflation. No point. I hate inflation. Ooh, Grand Shipyard. Finally! Finally Norway and Sweden are at peace. Jeez, that took forever. That's what she said. I was kind of hoping Sweden would take that, so that when I annex Norway, I would only be taking Orkney. But... I guess, uh, I guess that's not to be. Oh, they're, they're still at Orthomom. Oh, that's right, it's because I'm at Orthomom. Oh, well, I'll annex them later. They still like me, don't they? Yeah, 197. We're good. We're good. All right, we have a colonist. And Massachusetts is no longer an option, so we have to start looking at other places to colonize. And I believe, since so many of these are going to complete soon, I can start focusing on other places. Like, connecting these lands would be a very good idea. Connecting... Oh my god, someone is going to colonize Chorto Ginda. Castile. Well, I better do Mosquito while I still can. Then I will have to use my spies here in Chor... Coro Choro Tega. And just hope to god that my spies will actually do their freaking job rather than being retarded. Tuscany declared war on the Papal State. My friend, that is not a good idea. The Papal State will chew you up and spit you out.
It's a fact, my friend. And Burgundy somehow has recovered from the horrible situation they were in. They spat out all of these territories, and now they're reconquering everything and annexing everything. And they're probably taking zero inf- no, they're taking infamy. They took eight infamy for taking these lands. Interesting. I thought all of it would have been reconquering so they wouldn't take infamy, but I guess they like infamy. Yeah, they're up to 16, so they may go over the limit. Alencon will seed Ile de France. Yeah. Looks like they're still at war with Portugal. They are. Yeah. France declared war on Alencon. Does France even have a freaking vote? France, if you don't have a boat, you're not going to get to Alencon. Cool. self sustained colony. Build a fort. That's what I could do. I could start building some level 2 forts, because at some point someone's going to go to war with me. I just don't know who, and I don't know where. Wow, look at, look at Lithuania getting owned by Austria. Cool. And Maracaibo is now self-sustaining. I love those native assimilation events. Those are awesome. All right, let me pause a second see how we're doing on time. All right, we got like another 15 minutes. Not sure what we can do in 15 minutes, but we'll see. All right, so Mosquito was successful, and it looks like Castile failed here in Chorotega. So we'll go there in Chorotega. Didn't even have to waste my spies. Oh, and the Papal States lost hold of Suriname. Poor Papal States. See, now would be an opportunity to kick them out and then colonize both of these and then work on Aragon. Yeah, I should work on Aragon. Let me kick these out. Because they only have 300 people. So it would take four... I don't know what the local population is. But assuming it's a thousand, it would take four dudes to kick out Aragon. And they would all have to be successful. So let me start working on them. Hey, look, we succeeded on the first freaking try here. So now they're down to 100 people. Oh, they might have 2,000 people there. So if this works, they'll be they'll be gone. Any fail. Oh well, the next spy we get, we should be able to kick them out. There we go. Wow, 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 wow. Riazan is independent, Palatsk is independent, and it looks like they took a lot of territory. Yeah, they took four territories. Infamy is only up to 12. Oh. I keep hoping they'll get infamy like. Uh, Polax is as communicated. Awesome. I keep hoping that one of these countries will go over the infamy limit. And that will give us, like, you know, free reign to do whatever the hell we want. But I'm not sure if I would even want to do that because I promise to stay out of mainland Europe in this campaign. Aragon warned us. Awesome. You guys are awesome, Aragon. You're dumb, but you're awesome. Trade tech is up, and we can build roads now. Cool. Gain a core in St. Martin. And we have a colonist. We're going to go to Suriname. Because the Pope lost it. And we'll get a spy in a year. Who will go to Cayenne. And we succeeded in Mosquito and Troatega. Even though Castile failed there, we did not. So we're having a little party over there. Ow. 
Oh, Colony Damage and Quidditch. Lame. Oh no. I love how the button says oh no. Oh, it's up to 450. Who cares if they damage it? Center of Trade. Looking good. Looking good. I definitely need to split my Center of Trade down here. It's about I have to wait 20 more years. Jeez. I guess that'll be in the next video. And our war exhaustion is still going down. Man, this leader kicks ass. What part of the leader contributes to war exhaustion being reduced? It's got to be administration, because that's the only thing that's good on this guy. My, other, my last leader had great diplomacy and great military, but bad administration. And the war exhaustion would go up when I was in a crappy war. Now I'm in a crappy war and war exhaustion is going down. So It's got to be administration. Hello, Chan Khan. Hello, Rebels. You know, with all this new land I'm getting, I really should build a new army. Ooh, stability's up to plus two. Awesome. I really should build a new army with all this new land that we have. Because our limit... Uh, we're only half of our limit. You know what the problem is, though? We're not making much money. <laughs> You know what? If I moved my capital to somewhere in Mexico, then all of these lands would suddenly become production lands rather than tariff lands. And I would probably be making a lot more money. Does that make sense? Like this is the farthest I can go where it's where it counts as production. Once I go beyond Iceland, all of this then becomes tariffs. So they're they're worth a lot less, a lot less value than these territories. Look at that, 40, 50, 26, 14, 22, even the shitty lands. Look at these shitty lands. This does fish, more fish. This does grain and it still does 14. Come down here and this does, you know, fur and it's only seven. This does coffee and it's only seven. And I have cores there. So I'm thinking I'm going to move my capital down here at some point. What do I have to do for that, since it's not a core? So I have to wait for decor. Alright, what about down here? It says you need a thousand gold and at least two stability. Oh, I have two stability. Moving your capital can be advantageous. And, you know, it's not in a vulnerable position. I think I will do that. Eventually. Alright, we have a colonist. Don't have a spy. As soon as I have a spy, I'll kick these guys out. I'll try to. Should be like one month? Two months? Two months. Yeah, next month we should have a spy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wars, I don't care. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Portugal will release Provence, Avignon, and Byzantium. Very cool. So let's see what happened there. Oh, you guys not taking care of these guys. You're almost there. Six days, whatever. So there's Provence, they're free. And I forget who else got released, but still, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's Byzantium, so there's Byzantium. Yeah, okay, so Burgundy kicked Portugal's ass. Good. Um, Burgundy, you should... Oh, you already did Royal Marry Me. All right. You want to align me? No. We'll work on that. Cool. Good job, Burgundy. And we should get a spy right now. Give me a spy. I did get a spy. Good. So let's see if we can kick Aragon out of Cayenne. Eighty percent chance. Awesome. Bye bye Aragon. Send colonist. Oh, I love doing that. <laughs> the only reason that worked is because they weren't funding their colonies. They were only getting plus five population every year instead of plus fifty. Gotta fund your colonies. Now I'm looking at the horrible possibility of maybe kicking the Pope out of here <laughs> just to link up my land. <laughs> That'd be so mean. The only downside is I would have to... What the hell just happened? Oh, this... Yeah, this became a territory. 
The only downside is I would have to, oh wow, I have a lot of money. I would have to be paying the Papal States a lot to get our relations back up. So let me go ahead and send them a gift now. So we're up to 191. Anyway, I think that's a good spot to end the video. We had uh, wonderful success with our spies, sort of. We failed so many times in Massachusetts, and then it all of a sudden just worked. We didn't even have to do it. The natives rose up on their own. And we have a colonist, so we could go here, I guess. Once this becomes a territory, it will automatically discover the land next to it. Slowly, but surely. So I don't even need a stupid uh, conquistador for that. Kespec self-sustaining, cool. So we're slowly filling all this crap in. No real priority. And we got Cayenne. Alright, yep. Yeah, I'll end the video here. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, a lot of stuff happened, but not really a whole lot to us. Mostly it was other people doing other stuff, like Austria and Bohemia kicking Lithuania. And, you know, Prussia doing their thing. And Smolensk is still colonizing. No guy. They're just going to keep expanding as far as they can. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on uh, The Adventures of Ireland.